Hello artists, how are you today? Stephanie Oni coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California. Oz and I welcome you to the studio. I'm very happy you are here with us today. Okay, so we are in the middle of Build-A-Doodle Flowers build, build videos. <laughs> so last week um, we did play with this specific type of design. Let's see if I can find it. We did this little guy here and oh these little guys so we played with these uh with that style on day one last week <laughs> it's confusing um but uh i really loved putting them together and again this is inspired from an image that i found on pinterest we are not copying her image but we are being inspired by it i think it is great fun um you know, I have a very, um, I have kind of more that wet on wet style, which is, uh, you know, the, the water, the paint, the paper is damp, and then we put pigment on it. And I like doing sprinkles and those types of things. So do what feels comfortable for you. If that doesn't feel comfortable for you, if you prefer the plain white backgrounds, then do what makes you happy. We are developing your style while I'm developing mine. I am truly developing my style in this process with you. I haven't really done doodles before. I haven't done these little watercolors like this for years. So um, don't compare yourself to anybody else. Give yourself permission to try. Give yourself permission to practice, right? And you're not gonna have a, oh, you're not gonna hit a home run every single time and that's okay. It's okay, you can do this. And those of you that are working a little bit longer on your doodles, great. Those of you that are just doing the 10 minutes to 20 minutes this, this week, we're giving ourselves a little bit more time in order to do these little paintings. If you don't have that much time, just cut down the size of your paper and keep it at your 10 minute mark. Okay guys, I hope you have a great day. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. It does make a huge difference. If you can support the channel, I would really appreciate it by joining Patreon for $10 a month. I mean, it's less than two mocha frappa macchiato. <laughs> you know, for, for less than two Starbucks a day, your contribution can really um, help me to continue to bring you daily content. Okay guys, I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for being here. Love y'all. Hello artists. Okay. So we're going to take our inspiration off of this one right here. This one's super simple. So I want to start you out as simple as we possibly can. I think this will be a great place to go. Um, so they're just taking some different colors. I don't know who the artist is on these. So um, it was just off of Pinterest. It is not my artwork. Um, And we are not going to copy it exactly. We are going to take inspiration from the artist and learn how to make it ourselves. And all they're doing is making little half circles. Let's see. Just making half circles. We're going to add a little bit more yellow into this guy. Uh, 
Let's make a blue one. Kind of a greeny blue one, because I've got yellow in my brush. Now five is a great number. Three, five, seven are eyes like odd numbers. It's more pleasing. Do you always have to use odd numbers? No. Like I said, it's just more pleasing for our eyes. Now I'm actually gonna put, let's see. I don't know if I can do a little buddy type thing in there, can I? One more down here at the bottom. Kind of bringing our eyes into the painting. Very fun. All right, and they got some great splatters in there. I love the splatters. Oh, they're dark splatters. Try not to do such dark splatters. <laughs> You know, this artist specifically chose not to put any underneath. I'm putting them underneath because that's just how I am. I'm a rebel. And this is how we take something that's inspired by somebody else and we make it ours. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to move around some of that uh, pigment. I know, I'm totally changing their idea, right? That's how you change their idea. So we take inspiration and we make it our own. Did you see how easily that was to scribble? Just don't, try not to over mix it. And yellow with flowers works really well. Now I am gonna go back in here and just kind of clean that up just a touch. Oh, actually I like what's happening there with that organic look. Taking off some of the water. I'm just giving myself an indication of where the stems are. It needs a little bit more blue, it feels like, in there, but I don't know. I just took all the water out of that, so we had to add a little bit more water back in. All right, I'm gonna let this dry, and then I'll come back into it with some doodling. How fun is that? Well, I think that's pretty cool. Not Nothing hard yet, right? There's nothing difficult with that. Cool. All right, we'll be back. Okay, so we're going to come in and do something similar to this with these guys. Now that it is all dried up. Don't want to use the micron pen. Don't want to use the gel pen. You can use, of course, your Sharpie. Use whatever you want. 
All right, we're gonna kind of make our little triangle down here though. Try to keep this loose. The looser that you keep it, the better luck you're gonna have. Hmm, they all just got crickety, didn't they? that line. Okay, so let's pull these upside down. For me, it works a little bit easier. To pull it towards me instead of drawing the other direction. Try to follow the contours of the flower a little bit. That's fun.
Oh, I love that. I was gonna, I was thinking about, okay, should I you know, put some little circles in there or should I do anything else in there? And I think I actually just love that just like it is. We're gonna put maybe one more little guy right there. This one has a little bit more detail here in the center. Varying some sizes. I love it. I hope you guys do too. Pretty simple. Um, you saw the whole process there. So just practice it a couple times if it feels like it gets frustrating, okay? All right, guys. I hope you have a great day. We'll chat soon.